<laughs> it's on its way to you, brother, man. It's on its way to you. Now, speaking of Babylon student, we have another magical guest from that magical place. And we're talking flower crowns, which continue to make headlines. And if you think of the Dolce & Gabbana Spring Summer 21 during uh, the Milan Fashion Week and perhaps the uh, John uh, Galliano show as well, you might have seen a few there. So what better way to celebrate Garden Day than by making your very own flower crown? So Constance Stiermann, a floral designer at Babylon Student Farm, joins us to show us exactly how, which is exciting. And you look wonderful with your flower crown. Thank you, Katlejo. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna make yours. I, I'm, I'm, I'm keen, I'm keen. I'm gonna make one for Graham. We'll start off with that and then we'll make mine. So let's quickly start off by understanding when did this trend of, of flower crowns start and how did it become so popularized? Well, I think it started actually with the Olympics. Yes, Remember? with the wreaths. With the wreaths, yes. that's where it started. Uh -huh. And when we started this beautiful garden day, mm -hmm. we said, you know what? We need a symbol for garden day. So we're gonna be kings and queens in our garden. Yes. And about 2016, we said, well, why not? Why not? And now not? everybody wants to have one. This is a symbol to say that you're joining the party. Absolutely. And so we want to show you at home how to make it. So let's start off by looking at the kind of tools that we're going to need in order to make our own flower crowns. Well, secateurs, very important. Secateurs? Very important. I, I, I just thought they were like garden scissors. <laughs> No, they're sick of tears. Get it right. Whoa. Sick of tears, sick of tears. very important. Yep. And then you're going to need whatever you can use mm -hmm. as your base. The kind of base for your flower crown. So you've taken some of the soft branches off of some trees. Is that a particular... Oh, this is our olive. Just an olive branch. Peace. Extend the need. olive branch all around. Okay, good. Yep. Um, so that's basically it. What, what is this that we have here? This is... Uh, this is some wire. Just some wire, twine. This is some wire, twine. Kind of thing. That you might use. But uh -huh. Constance does things a little bit different. Okay. I don't like using wire. Mm -hmm. I like making use of all the natural things that nature actually provides. Wonderful. So within this crown of mine, mm -hmm. no wire has been used. I'm going to show you okay. how you're going to do also, this. Also, I'm going to, yeah, w one last thing. Are there any kinds of flowers we should be looking out for that are, that are seasonal now during spring? And are, are there any ones we should avoid? Probably the ones with thorns. Don't use ones with thorns because those could be... I want to give one with thorns to all men. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. No, the thorn one, we actually, we won't use those. Yes. But what's in season now is actually our clavius. Clavius. It's okay. clavius season, mm -hmm. and clavius is one of the flowers that you might probably want to use. Okay. Then it's also our feinbos. Mm -hmm. Feinbos is also in season right now, and this is our pin cushions. Mm -hmm. So this is going to make a beautiful flower crown as well. Lovely stuff. Well, let's get started, shall we? First things first. First things first. This is my base, mm -hmm. but I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful base. Yes, thank you. Okay. Let me show you. Where are my clivias? Here yeah. they are. This is clivets. What are these again? Secateurs. Secateurs. Goodness, the flower terminology is just throwing me around. Okay, so you measure your head size. You better measure your head size. Yeah, you? I think Graham and I have got more or less the same head size. All right, right, Graham? All right, Graham. Graham. Okay, I'm a double XL. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we'll need one like that. So you measure out and you... And that's kind of the size that, that of it. That feels comfortable. And then, then you just decide you want to close it. Okay. That's the way that I close there it. There we go. You just all avoid, natural. Yeah. Just all weave natural. it around. Weave it around all mm. the way. Try and get as much... This is like scouts as it well. It is. It is. There should be a badge that comes with this at the end. You feel it again? The, there we go. Does okay, it feel proper? Yeah, it's sitting on the top. Yeah, I feel like a Miss Universe would wear it like this. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's so once I, you have that... That's finished. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to give to you. Okay. Because this is one I've previously actually prepared for you. So, so let's say after you've made that, you'd probably take some of this twine if you have it, and then you just kind of... You can bind it. And bind actually it make it, You bind it all around mm -hmm. to make it actually sit and let it be um, very tight. Yes. So that it doesn't fall it doesn't apart. Fall apart. Okay. okay. Then? Then you start just sticking these in. Okay. Wherever you want to. Wherever you want to. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to let my, 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 my kind of plant heart guide me. Uh, I'm assuming that the, the secateurs will come into place at, at some point. That's where you're going to need the secateurs because we're going to have Secretary. all these loose points that's actually all over the place and that's not what you want. I'm going to, I'm going to put these up to make them look almost like eyes. Okay. From the top. There we go. Do you see what I'm, go what I'm going for here? So I, I see. Wearing, I see. Like, I, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. But I like this. This is, this is fun. Get your hands involved. Feel what a plant feels like. Do you feel how nice it feels? This is great. Um, so obviously with these, did you prepare them at all? Did you kind of, obviously after taking them off of their 
of the leaves. Yeah, a little bit of the leaves so it can actually just you can a pull bit them of the leaves through. There, here and there. More of these. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just carry on over you here. You just carry on with that. So I guess cre creativity is uh, it's kind of like your own. You you do your thing. I think everybody's crown is gonna be specifically as the the feeling of that day. Yes, um, and can, can people come to Babylon Sturen and then uh, you help them make the, these flower crowns? Oh, that's gonna be a special day. It's gonna be on Sunday. On Sunday, you're gonna do Sunday that as well. Sunday is National Flower Crown Day. Okay. And it's National Garden Day, National I would say. Garden, Both yes, of yes. them as well. We're gonna have a virtual um, garden gathering as well. Yes. Which is gonna be via Facebook. Mm -hmm. And you can actually see how people like Zoe, uh -huh. uh, the presenter, uh -huh. what uh, Mr. Bezaino note, yes. Skull Bezaino note, mm -hmm. they're gonna have a show off of crowns. Their crowns, okay. Their crowns. I'm not quite sure what to do with this. Let me show you. The okay. Pole. So you're gonna you see the find it on the back, yeah? You just play. Oh, there we go. You just play with it. I just need to be a bit more hands on because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm too precious about it. I'm so, so fragile. Like, oh, I don't want it to break. Then you stick in another one. I, I, I like what I brought today. Yes. You put that in there as well. Mm -hmm. You just play so, with it. So, what, what are these ones called? This is also Fane Boss. Oh, also part of the Fane This is Fane Boss. Because we have a lot of that in the Cape. The Cape is more. a Fane Boss type of city. Yeah. So, you might want to wear goggles while you're doing this because. No, they do go all over anybody. the place. You're not going to hurt anybody. <laughs> Just around. All right. Then one you're more of those. You. And I guess the more the more colourful you can make it, the better as well. Yeah. There That's the best go. part about everything um, when you're making a flower crown mm. is that you play with colours, you play with texture. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I like making a crown that's totally out of herbs. Really? Yeah, but, oh, when I'm in a herby mood, why not? <laughs> why not? A herby crown. I'm a, I have a herby crown and it makes me feel so calm. Yeah. And rosemary is one of the things I love using. Ah. Because lo <gasps> rosemary... Uh, did you break it? One, one of my... Oh, no. Did you break it? Catherine? Yes. I'm just going to just plant it over here in my pocket then. Would you stay with me, pincushion? Okay. Yes. There, there we go. go. It's doing the things. There, okay, go. there we go. And then at the end, I guess I would have to use these to kind of snip off the... Uh, oh, my goodness. But we, 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 we're trying to actually make a firework crown where everything is actually on the <laughs> It's table. a process, OK? It's a process. <laughs> it's definitely a process. <laughs> All right. Go. So we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, hopefully Graham's flower crown will look like a flower crown. Uh, he'll have it on. And then I'll start making one of my own as well. There we go. Thank you very, very much, okay. Mr. Edmond. OK, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. More flowers to come.